So my name is Diana Hempler and today we're going to talk about the top five things to keep in mind if you're just starting to run. So the first thing that you want to do is when you're running you want to stand up straight but with a very slight forward lean now what you don't want to do is you don't want to go like this you don't want to be bent over and you also don't want your shoulders to hunch you want to keep your body nice and straight and slightly lean forward so the second thing that you want to do is you want to try to think of it as you're lifting your foot and not your whole leg because lifting your foot is a lot easier than lifting your leg so you're focusing on lifting your foot like this as opposed to trying to lift your leg like this and when you do that you're allowing yourself to create momentum to be able to go forward so the third thing you want to focus on is breathing Breathing is very important because when you're breathing, you want to get enough oxygen into your lungs to be able to carry, to carry everything in your body. Okay. So how you do that is you want to make sure that you get four strides per inhale and four strides per exhale. But you also want to avoid overthinking it as well because as soon as people hear that, they start overthinking it. But really, you just want to breathe as deeply as possible, like this. And you want it to be a belly breathing as opposed to just surface chest breathing. The fourth thing you want to focus on is you want to avoid overstriding. Because when you're overstriding, you're reaching with your foot like this. And what that does is that makes you land on your heel. And when you're landing on your heel, it causes a braking action which interrupts your forward momentum. And because you're interrupting your forward momentum, you're now running inefficiently. And not only that, but landing really hard on your heel amplifies how much how hard it is on your knees because when you're putting more than double your weight onto your knee like this it can cause damage potentially which can cause injuries so you want to try to avoid landing with your foot in front of you you want to focus on landing on either the midfoot or the forefoot and you want to try to land in a way that has your foot underneath your hips or slightly behind your hips because that way the heaviest part of your body is no longer being flung onto your knee by going like this and the fifth thing you want to focus on is you want to avoid having a twisting motion with your body so a lot of people do a lot of up down side to side movements which really cause them to run inefficiently because all that energy that you should be focusing into going forward you're now going side to side so sometimes so a bad way of running would be as if you're running like this your hips are twisting your arms are twisting your upper body is twisting and you're losing a lot of energy or you're going too much up and down instead what you want to do is you want to try to engage your core breathe properly straighten out your shoulders Focus on having your arms more parallel, like this. And I find that what really helps too is keeping the thumbs up. 
So just think thumbs up. And now keep your arms straight. Awesome. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to uh, find Yana, where can we find you? You can find me on Facebook at Yana Hempler Fitness, or you can find me on Instagram at YHempler, or my website www.yanahempler.com. All the info will be in the description box below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs>